morning everyone this is amit prabari founder and managing director of cr forex the biggest event of the coming week is fed meeting now the fed is in dilemma whether to fight back inflation or whether to fight back banking crisis in usa till first week of march the entire market was expecting and the fed chairman was it himself was expecting that us economy is doing absolutely good and probably they have to go and increase the interest rate by 50 basis point and then things have changed in last week in last 8 to 10 days we all have heard news is that us banks are getting default and some way or other way they are getting bail out but the common problem with all the banks in us is they that they are not able to cope up with the rising interest what the fed has been doing from last one year because of rising interest rate whatever money they have invested in 10 year us bond they are entering into a negative mark and thus the banks are facing losses so the fed is in clear cut dilemma whether he will control inflation or whether he will save bank now let us see what the bank what the fed can do next week there can be three possibility a uh, scenario for the fed meeting first scenario is that they sound little dovish dovish means they say koi bhi rate hike nahi karna hai march ke meeting mein and for future also they will not do any kind of rate hike if that happens dollar index will immediately fall all equity market across the globe will rise scenario number 2 which we are expecting is that they go ahead with 25 basis ka rate hike and they say that in future also if the data are good they will going to increase the interest rate if that happens then dollar index will be in a range bound manner between 103 to 104.5 kind of a level third extreme scenario if they say that they are going to increase the interest rate at a faster pace and in this meeting they increase the interest rate by 50 basis point then equity market across the globe will fall dollar index will shoot up above 105 levels and rupee might trade above 83 kind of a level now let us come to outlook on dollar rupee pair now let us discuss outlook for dollar rupee pair on the negative side we have banking crisis in us and europe second fif have been continuously selling in indian equity market on the positive side we can get some kind of inflow Uh, in last 10 to 15 days of march by it inflow can come and second positive point is that we have seen that rbi was intervening at 82 80 level last week so basically we can conclude that for coming days the pair can consolidate between 80 to 10 on the lower side and 82 80 80 to 90 on the higher side but the biasness of the pair remains on the weaker side and eventually the pair is going to break 83 level in coming days now let us discuss strategy for thin margin exporters like agri exporter or chemical exporter in last week video suggested all thin margin exporters that they should not get panic and sell at lower levels and they should wait for 82 and a half kind of a level and market move beyond 82 and a half level now for coming days if someone has taken aggressive costing above 82 and a half they should cover 80 to 100% of their exposure between 80 to 50 and 80 to 90 if someone has taken costing between 82 to 80 to 45 then we'll suggest them that they should cover 70% of their exposure between 80 to 50 to 80 to 80 uh, 80 kind of a level for remaining position they can wait with the stop loss of 82 or costing whichever is higher now let us discuss strategy for thick margin exporters like textile exporter or engineering exporter from last two weeks we have been suggesting them that below 80 to 50 they should ideally use their existing forward contract which are profitable or they should cancel some of their profitable contracts weaker global sentiment and lower forward premium are not uh, advantageous situation for thick margin exporters to increase the risk ratio so for the coming days we continue to suggest them that they should maintain a lower hedge ratio between 40 to 45% now let us discuss strategy for importers in volatile times it is advisable that importers should play defensive and ideally at any point of time they should have 
one month import cover because of that last week suggested importers to buy between 81 82 82 at least one month import if they have missed buying at those level then between 82 20 to 82 40 they should have a hedge ratio of one month because of any reason if they are lucky and the pair move towards 81 80 to 82 kind of a level they should take that as an opportunity and they should increase the hedge ratio for two months now with this note i will end my today's presentation Jai Hind, Namaskar, Phir Milenge next week. Thank you.